It's a special day for the alumni and alumni of the English department at the Madras Christian College. The department has organized a reunion. In fact, I passed out here in the year 1995, finishing my master's and MPhil here after spending three years on campus. I'm looking forward to meeting my professors and my contemporaries. In fact, many students and professors who taught several decades ago, as early as the 60s, have come here for this special event. Well, no words for a simple reason that there's so much of what comes in when you walk into this institution that uh, leaves you spellbound and it's the magic of MCC is still not lost. You want to give a lecture sometime here? Not really. <laughs> <laughs> I think my, my days are done. Even Japanese, someone who looks young always, <laughs> they ever... How does it feel back to be on the campus? I'm so very happy and so excited to meet all my old students. It's indeed a great, great privilege. God has kept us all so very healthy and happy. And also I'm so, so very happy to see all my students doing so very well in life. Especially my good friend here, right? God bless okay, you. share the secret of your youthful look. Oh, that's because I go on teaching. I'm still teaching at the Madras University. I never stop teaching, I'm still teaching. So that keeps me so very young because I'm with the young people all the time. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much. Right, okay. Take care. I remember when I uh, spoke on my farewell, I said it's a piece of heaven. And it continues to be a piece of heaven. And I am very, very happy to be associated with this uh, college. And I fondly remember all my teachers. And I'm, it's a very happy day because uh, uh, all those people who are honored before me are my teachers. Right. So it's a great feeling to be honored along with them. And uh, I love this place and God bless Madras Christian College. Would you love to give a lecture sometime here? Definitely, yes. Always, always in MCC because uh, I had the good fortune of uh, teaching here for 34 years and uh, three more years of uh, study, which means 37 years I've been with this uh, institution. So uh, most of my life in one sense I've, has been spent on this amazing campus. And I always believe that, uh, see, we normally learn from the romantics that nature has an impact on you. And MCC as a place has hugely impacted me, uh, me and uh, I think my consciousness has been shaped by Madras Christian College. And I fondly remember all the teachers who have come today and the teachers who have unfortunately left us. And I am what I am today uh, only because of uh, their, their amazing contribution to shape me as a personality and as a teacher. Professors Raja Gopalan and Manohar Simon, thank you very much for your time. How does it feel to be back on the campus? Oh, it's a wonderful experience meeting all our old students, particularly the Sam Hello. Daniel, who was one of our brilliant students. Thank you, Sam. And uh, how, how's it for you, sir? Oh, it's exciting. I couldn't imagine that something like this could happen and it's wonderful meeting so many people down the years and especially you, Sam. <laughs> you feel like coming back for a lecture sometime? Oh, oh I would really love it. <laughs> <laughs> linguistics. Yeah, sure. Anytime I'm happy to teach grammar or linguistics. I think you people gave the name uh, uh, Sydney Greenbaum. Grammar Rajkopalan. You I still can... have your scooter? Yeah, no, I don't have my scooter now. <laughs> <laughs> I can't ride it. <laughs> Instead, I go by my uh, car. Still remember your Fiat? You used to park at the station and take yes, a train. I, know, I, I used to take the train. <laughs> That's right. And uh, so, remember all those days coming by train and you know yeah. meeting with students. There was no distinction between students and staff those days. So we were all friends, and it was beautiful. So we really miss those days, yes. Thank you so much. Such a joy meeting both of you. Thank you, thank you. Thank you very much, Dr. Wilson. How, how important is this kind of an alumni get-together? Yes, uh, for any institution, alumni is a backbone. And, you know, first of all, they will have a, uh, no, a nostalgic moments to cherish, number one. Number two, they can give back to the institution in terms of kind, like their skills they can give back. They can mentor their juniors and they can try to be investors and then so on and so forth. There are a lot of opportunities for them to come back to the institution. So any institution which is not networking among the alumni would not stand on its own. It's very, very difficult. So keeping that in mind, we have now made it strategically possible that we would solicit our alumni to come back and enjoy this campus, not only enjoying the campus, at the same time, think about in what way you can contribute to this, the, your alma mater in various possible ways. Thank you very much. Nostalgic feeling for you? Yes, definitely. 
I have very pleasant memories of my stay here. I think I did most of my reading and, you know, the liberal reading. So out here, so I think it's made a lot of difference. You're the principal of WCC. What uh, elements of MCC you have adopted there? Anything? Uh, again, as I mentioned, this uh, liberal way of taking students, not the very, uh, you know, just uh, book-based knowledge and things like that, but allowing students to explore a little bit of uh, the subject and then choosing whatever is their strong point or their point of interest. I think that helps a lot. Kanyan is my classmate, in fact. Kanyan, great you could make it. Yeah. How does it feel to be back on the campus? Yeah. It's nice, it's nice. It's, it's uh, what shall I say? It's a rememberable day. Right. And you brought your wife? Yeah. Introduce us to your wife? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> With me, Kavita Nair, a cricketer those days. How does it feel to see all your old friends now? Oh my God, it's, I can't say, should I say fantastic, fabulous. I don't know, it is magnificent, or almost miraculous that I made it after 20, after 30 years back to MCC. It feels awesome, especially with Sam Daniel from NDCV. <laughs> You were one of the pioneers among the women cricketers. Uh, tell us about your cricketing career. I was the captain of women's cricket team in SDNB Vaishnav College. We played for three years and then continued it when I came to MCC. But uh, unfortunately, MCC didn't have a cricket team that time. I was the only cricket player. And I still remember uh, Dr. VSV used to call me Tendulkar whenever I entered <laughs> class. That was the most... Uh, you know, I, I know we never make it up to Tendulkar, but but that's still small. What does MCC, the English department, mean to you? Everything in my life, whatever I've been till now, whatever I have learned. You know, there's a saying called, uh, values are not uh, taught, they are caught. And I think MCC, English department, was one of that, that all the values that we caught in our life, all... Uh, courtesy MCC English Department. Everything in my life. Thank you. Thank you, Kavita. Thank you very much, Sam. Nice to catch up with you. Thank you. Looks like all contemporaries are catching up. Yes, after a long time. Lata. Back. Dr. Lata. Not yet. <laughs> yeah. Uh, catching up after a long time with a lot of uh, old memories, recollections. And it's a pleasure to be back in MCC. As always, I've been coming on and off, but you this is taught here for some time. I taught here for some time. I continue to be associated in various academic capacities, but nothing like feeling like a student back here. <laughs> and these three are my classmates, actually, Grizzelda, Geeta, and Gigi. So, what memories? I'll never forget my MTC memories. <laughs> three years I've done here, MA two years, and MPhil one year. Something which uh, can never be forgotten. Gigi. It's like getting back to college to study. Uh, we are as batch here and it's lovely. After almost, uh, I think uh, in 2013, we were back once for alumni. And then we are back again now. It's almost like uh, nine years, nine plus years. Meeting old professors. Yeah, it was really good. But though we missed a few of them, they who are no more. But it's great meeting our professors. But I really miss uh, Professor Bhatt and uh, Professor Doraisa. Professor Rajani. You found your husband on campus? Yes. <laughs> I love you. Tell us about the love story. <laughs> Miller. Yes, my husband's name is Miller. We did UG together. PG was a senior to me one year because I did my BA and then joined here. So my love started only in MA. <laughs> so these are my classmates. I, I cannot forget MCC because it's uh, like everything. It, till we are dead, we, this is a memory. That, that years won't come back. So when we come here also, we could recall. We become a student again. Like it's like that. <laughs> How does it feel to come to your mom's uh, college? Yeah, uh, there's a particular vibe in this mm -hmm. uh, environment. <laughs> MCC vibe. Yeah, I, I went to so many colleges for my uh, for my cousin's uh, admissions and all, but I don't have that feeling. Would you come back and study here after you plus two? Yeah, yeah, sure, sure. Uh, this truly a great, glorious institution to be in, and I'm overwhelmed. There's so many, so many uh, 
you know, emotions and things that are there that it's all awesome. It's really awesome to be here and spend time with my classmates and people that we love and especially meeting our professors today. What's special otherwise? Yeah, we're very happy to meet all of them after such a long time. Yeah. Have you met before? Yes, we You're did meet. Okay. Yes, yes, we are all in touch and brings back a lot of memories. Right. Yeah, there are some of our classmates who are still, we are not able to locate them and we are still trying. But hopefully we will right, get right. in touch with them again and hopefully uh, through maybe these interviews, somebody <laughs> might connect with us back again. So This is an interesting love story, Ashes and Lemma. Tell us about her. I think we were here only for one year together uh -huh. and it and it so happened in that one year. <laughs> so you were between? 2006 and uh, 11. I did my undergrads and postgrads here. Yeah. And so it didn't start at the gutters and end at the gate? Ah, uh, no, it was from the woods <laughs> to the altar and <laughs> hopefully till forever. <laughs> uh, in what way do you think MCC of the English department has contributed? Uh, great memories here. Uh, I think, you know, meeting professors here, you know, MCC and the department and all the activities here, you know, make us what we are today. With me, Professor Nirmal Selvamani, so you took an early break and joined yeah, the right. Central University at yeah. Thiruvaru. I retired voluntarily in 2010 uh, because I was invited by Professor Sanjay who uh, started Central University of Tamil Nadu at Thiruvaru. Uh, to launch the first program, MA in English Studies. So uh, I retired from here and uh, went there. And I retired from Central University of Tamil Nadu in 2018. So I've been at home, at my Madambakam home, my wife and I, and I do a lot of reading and writing, particularly, you know, on Tine. So currently I'm on a Tine philosophy book project. So that's what's going right now. Uh, you are someone who took an early break from MCC, joined the Central University at Thiruvaru. So how do you compare? Um, well, um, uh, the students that we got at uh, Thiruvaru, uh, they were from rural backgrounds. Right. So that was a major dis uh, difference, I would say. But otherwise, you know, um, the government ethos is very different from the ethos of MCC. That is a very distinct difference, I think. But, you know, I enjoyed because I it was challenged to uh, start a new department. Right. Yeah. And then we introduced eco-criticism there and then, uh, you know, very, uh, I mean, Dravidian literature. I don't think anybody was teaching Dravidian That's literature right. in any English department. So we did that. So we could do all of these innovative things. You know, it's Central University of Tamil Nadu. That was really good. On a lighter note, when did you decide to take off your beard? Uh, that was uh, probably when I left MCC, maybe around really? that time. I mean, I'm not too sure, particularly about the year. I mean, I don't remember the year, but yeah, that's uh, for a very long time, you know, I had a different appearance. <laughs> You're right. Yeah. Thank you so much, sir. Such a joy yeah, meeting you. Welcome, Sam. And I'm very happy to see you, you know, and I thank all of these people who thought of this idea of alumni meeting. You know, that's wonderful. Otherwise, I wouldn't have met you here. That's right. So thank you so much, you know. The lunch was at the Saleo Hall, which means for many, it was a chance to get back to their old classrooms. And is it like back to classes now? Yeah, it feels good to be here. We used to sit right here. We were just discussing. So it feels good to be here. I'm coming back after 20 years. So that's what. <laughs> what kind of memories you get? Same here, 20 years, it's very nostalgic. You know, all those lovely memories of us being together and no worries at all. It's so, I mean, I don't even want to leave actually, it's so nice. What are the signature aspects of uh, the English department at MCC? Uh, I think uh, the stalwarts of MCC are the profs. I was going to say yeah. the same thing. And uh, and it's amazing to see how they have how well they remember us actually, yes. isn't it? Of course not. The they name. don't remember our names, but they uh, like they recognize the recognition in their eyes. And of course, campus is common, but the campus is something to die for in MCC. The kind of uh, the way students and faculty had a very friendly ties. I came from a convent, so convent it was so strict, you know, and so many rules. So from that it was such a welcome change that, you know, they were like so friendly and they didn't have, 
MCC, one thing was there was not too many rules. They treated you like adults. I love that about the college. What's the highlight of today's meet? Oh, well, there's a lot of things. You can't say, you know, this or that. But um, especially at least with my batch, this is probably the first time I have a lot of people from my age group coming in. So I, we've always had the 70s and the 80s uh, batchmates get to, getting together pretty often. But uh, this is probably the first time the late 90s and the 2000s have come. So it's fantastic. What's special about the culture of the English department uh, you would always cherish? Perfect. So I am uh, 2002 BCom. I'm here as a plus one. <laughs> my wife His is, wife is my wife is 2002. So for us, it's extra special to come back because she used to study right here. Her classes oh, and I, class. I lived yeah. in Selly Hall. So how's that for a story? <laughs> Love story. Fantastic story. Yes, and great culture. It has uh, stayed the same. Is what I can see. And uh, great, great to be part. Nostalgic memories here. Yeah. Good to see a lot of participation on the batches. I mean, right from 19. I mean, my fear was that we'd be one of the oldest batches. People from 85, early 80s. Great to see. Fantastic and well organized. Sam, I have a question for you. You studied here as well. Which batch were you in? I was here between 92 and 94 for my MA and then till 95 for my MPhil. MPhil. So you were also in the literature department? Yes. Okay. I was a resident. I was part of the Heber Hall. Heber Hall. My classes were here. That side my first year yes. and this side for my second yeah, year. For third years usually sat here. Yeah. Yes. And, and then the That's right, yeah. And then when I was doing my MPhil, yes. I was staying at the E block of Sally Hall. E -block Sally Hall. Yeah. Yeah. Dr. Felix Moses. Dr. Felix Moses. Yeah. Yes. I was just Professor Wilfred Shalaya, thank you very much, sir. Such a joy meeting you. How's it for you? It's wonderful. And uh, <clears throat> such a large gathering. And it's one one more evidence, speak, yeah. one more uh, edi evidence to say that they still love the college, though they have left a few years ago. Wherever they are, their heart is here, and it is evident the emotional um, togetherness and connect was so deep and so strong. And we had a wonderful time in the morning. Besides teaching, you also had a different profile as a musician, as a choir master at, uh, at the Heber Chapel as well as the college. Which one do you miss most? Uh, very difficult question because literature and uh, um, music are the two uh, major anchors of my life. Um, but if you ask me, music has an edge over literature. <laughs> we are outside the Celio Hall and with me, Professor Cherian Kurian, who is also my warden. Great meeting you, sir. How was it for you coming back to the college after? Well, great coming back and great meeting the students. They have changed, but we haven't. <laughs> We have reached the maximum level of change. <laughs> so, but, yeah. but it's nice, it was a great meeting with everybody. What does the English department mean to you? It means everything to me. First of all, the Madras Student College means everything to me. And the English department is part of my home. So that was great. So I loved every, I never regretted taking up this job at MCC. It's the best job that you can ex ever hope for. Yeah. Something you always cherish about the college? The campus, the sense of freedom, right. the ability to talk your mind in class. I was quite critical of many things in class which would not have been approved by many administrations. So I would say it was the best, the perfect life. I would not share it again for any, any other. I would not, you know, exchange it for another job at any time. I left the, I left the corporate sector to come here and I've never regretted it. So, Thank you very much for your time and always Thank joy you, meeting. Sam, nice meeting you. Joining us now, Professor VSP. So, thank you very much for your time. How did you find the reunion? I was pleased with the overwhelming response. Particularly, it was touching to see so many of the old students right. talking to me with affection and remembering the old days. And that's a striking quality of a Christian college and particularly the English department. Right. The staff-student relationship was always uh, what a commendable right. space. After how many years did you come back to the campus? No, but, no recently came when Dr. Francis Saundaraj passed away. Right. I came to the campus to pay my last respects. Right. 
Afterwards, after I think uh, when Dorai is uh, passed away, right. I attended the memorial service. That's right. It was good to meet your other colleagues today. Other. See, I miss most of the, my contemporaries. Right. Like Rajani, Vishnu, but right. P. S. Dorai. Right. Jairaman. Right. G. K. Matthew. What's the best aspect you liked about uh, the English department at MCC? Number one, the staff-student relationship was very cordial all the time. Right. And students were not afraid to meet uh, teachers and right. speak about their grievances. And another thing was, spoon feeding was never the aim of the department. Right. We didn't coach the students for the examination. Right. Ample scope was given to the students to develop independent thinking. Right. Actually, in the early days, the students had more free time. They are left to themselves and they are allowed to work in the library. Right. And the English department had made a great contribution to the teaching of English, both at the national and the state level. Because in those days, only two colleges were allowed, were offering postgraduate course in English, right. Presidency College and Christian College. Right. And they had even common intercollegiate classes. So, naturally, when courses of in English uh, literature uh, were started in other places, in other colleges, after the post-colonial days, mm -hmm. it was the students of, former students of Christian College, the students trained by Christian College, contributed greatly to the teaching of English in other colleges. Right, right, right. Any message to your old students and faculty? So, I want to express my sincere thanks to them for organizing this function. Right. And for uh, receiving us with great affection. Right. We think of the old days. When, uh, and one thing we ought to point out. Right. Even though full freedom was given to the students, there was no attempt to stifle that freedom. Right. In those days, there were no incidents of uh, misuse of power or position. Right. Women students were given greatest respect by the students. Right. And there was no need to preach to them to show respect to the fellow students. Right. So we should be proud of that. Right. And another contribution was that for the first time, a visually handicapped person was appointed as a full-time teacher in the department. Only later on, the government felt the need to introduce specific laws to protect the interests of the disabled. Right. And several students, particularly visually handicapped students, joined the literature course and they are doing very well in their life. Actually, I met one student who, was, uh, who became a lecturer in a government college. That's right. Uh, that's... Uh, we should be proud of the, the contribution, particularly the English department. Right. Your classes were always a joy to attend. You made them so humorous. Also, I, we expect a relaxed atmosphere in the classroom where we can have free interchanges. So if you are humorous and if you come to their level, actually when someone stays away from the class for a long time <laughs> and he comes back, I'll just begin my class by saying absence makes a heart founder <laughs> and and then i will say i'm not referring to mr so and so <laughs> right and during your years we didn't have women faculty in the english department now at least 50 percent are women no in those days you see we had the general english classes consisting of more than 100 and 150 students and if you don't have the capacity to control them the classes will be boisterous and will be uh, even a male teacher will have discipline problem. Right. Therefore, we are very particular. It's not a policy decision. Naturally, we decided that uh, only women students, men faculty, yes, men faculty should be preferred. But now things are changing. I think around 50% of the faculty now in the English department are women. Yes. You happy about that? I'm very happy about that. Now, you see, we used to speak about gentlemen of Christian College. The, this is the title is uh, 
happily described our students because they never gave trouble to women students. They were treated always with respect. We should be proud of that. Thank you so much for your time, sir. It was a joy meeting you today. Th thanks for coming. Thank you. It's a truly an epoch-making moment. It was a trip down memory lane as mixed feelings uh, came flooding my memory. Meeting some of my own professors um, after so many years, and they have aged gracefully, and some of my students who have done exceedingly well, some of them uh, entrepreneurs, some of them uh, across the board uh, in different sectors, and some of them taking to teaching as their profession. It was uh, a day well spent amidst Sylvan surroundings, and um, the weather did not play through it. Truly, it was a, a memorable day, and uh, we are very grateful for this day. Okay, a very special alumnus, Joseph Walser from the 1960 batch. Right. And uh, after how many years are you coming back to the campus? Uh, I lived here in Palmbrum. <laughs> right. Almost every event such as you come here? I do come here. But this time, I thought it was probably the last one. <laughs> I don't think. No, I shouldn't say that. <laughs> no, no. I don't think I can make it here out. Are you happy you came for this? Yes. I look forward to it. I never wanted to miss this. So I came. Did you meet any of your classmates? No, not my batch. <laughs> <laughs> Subsequent batches. Right. Francis Savandaraj, principal, was That's my right. classmate. Oh, right, okay. He taught us. Okay. And we both were colleagues for some time and I was teaching actually. Okay. Right. So I studied here when. Dr. McPhail was the principal right. and the HOD, right. English HOD. So, so I had a very fruitful right. course of study. Tell us about life on campus, life for the English department during your years. <laughs> it takes a long time. It's a story. See, the English department was, there were three missionaries, uh -huh. McPhail, Martin and uh, McNichol, all of them, English department. Each one had his own strengths. McPhail was in authority on Shakespeare. And then Martin was very good at 18th century poetry. Jane Austen and all that sort of And then McNichol, he, he actually mentored me in terms of you know, writing poetry. I still write poetry because of Reverend Mactical Street. Right. So we enjoyed those days. Thank you, thank you so much. Such a joy meeting you. A mighty, mighty senior. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. Subsequent. And, and you found your wife on campus? Yes and no. <laughs> Tell us that story. I, I, I knew her father. You should come this side. I knew her father. Okay. He was teaching history. Right, right, right. Okay. And then I never thought we get married. We lived in the same campus. Okay. But we never knew each other. Okay. God brought us. It was an arranged marriage. Yes. Hundred <laughs> percent. Right. Yes. Fifty-three years we are happy. Are you, hap are you happy? You have married somebody from the English department? Yes, I am. <laughs> and also he was the president of ACM oh, right. with the. I don't know, he is my best half. Right. That's all I can say. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you. Thank you. Well, I have with me a group of uh, alumni who passed out in the year 2020, finishing their master's MA English. Thank you all very much for your time. What do you guys do? Uh, I'm a research scholar in okay. SRM. Okay. Research scholar at VIT. I think all of you are doing research now. Yeah, research. Yeah. You work? Yeah. yeah, I work. I work as a content writer. Okay. Research and work. Tell me how English department has uh, has impacted you. Actually, the as it the, as the quote says, heaven on earth. Mm -hmm. We've learned many things in mm -hmm. our department. The staffs were very friendly staffs. Okay. We can talk whatever. We can share our perspective. We can share our ideas. No judgment and no anything. We literally enjoyed life here. Not Academically. Only, yeah, like. Mm, Oh, what to say? We we see everything to, uh, like as equal mm -hmm. uh, because uh, most of them has biases uh, to different areas. But studying English literature taught us how to look everything equally. Right. 
Yeah. So MCC made us a person ultimately uh, who we are uh, exactly. Uh, we stand up different from others yeah. in the social place when we, we MCCians are together <coughs> always. And it, uh, it has always made us unique and our right. teaching, our perspective, everything stands apart. Any particular culture unique for the English department here at MCC? Uh, not just English department, MCC altogether has a different culture. And uh, we get uh, a better exposure mm -hmm. to people from different uh, walks of life and we are an MCC so it has actually helped. Right. How about you? Yeah, more than the course, the campus is like really nice. Mm. I like the campus very much. There's lots of greenery trees and I'm that kind of person. I really like the setup. So How difficult is it when you leave MCC and face the real world? <laughs> Very difficult, <laughs> no words, because this is a place full of memories. And I'm asking in terms of the kind of friendly ties you have with the faculty. Yeah, yeah the faculty, they are very caring, they are so compassionate, uh, along with their level of intellectuality. To be honest, uh, if we go to the other institution, we can't even fit inside the institution. We, it's very, we are finding it very difficult to fit inside the institution of other colleges. because we had very... Another thing is that MCC doesn't care about marks. Like in, diff in, other, in other colleges and schools, it's, it's the mark that categorizes you. But right. here it's not marks. Right. Very interesting perspective by a batch of contemporary students who have recently passed out. I have with me Mr. Gabriel who studied on campus between 1963 and 69. He was also a faculty member for a year. Yeah. Uh, great Those coming back. They called the tutors. Right. <laughs> yeah, it is because the, there's something that always makes you relive the happy days you spent here. And also what I recollect and I'm touched by mostly is the simplicity of the faculty. When they showed the old slides of Professor Bennett Albert, Dr. McPhail, Reverend Dr. McPhail, the other people who taught me, then Professor uh, Henry Francis Soundaraj, the absolute simplicity, they always would want you to be corrected, but they never made you feel small. So their emphasis was correction to build you up, to make you stronger and more confident and not to you know, make you look small or belittle you. And that is something I believe is the goodness of the culture of this institute right from the founding fathers maybe. And I'm sure that is continued in today's faculty also. With me, Fabiola and Shakira. Yeah, I'm uh, from the 92 batch of English language and literature. 1992, this is my friend Shakira. So three of us made it today from our class. Oh, from great, our okay, class. Yeah. Okay, okay. <laughs> what do you guys do? We had a nice time yeah, together after a long time. It's been 30 years since we left the college and it's, it was a wonderful time. Uh, moving around the campus, it looks green, lush green and you know, lively. What is that you still remember about uh, campus life or uh, the English department? Yeah, uh, it feels like we never forgot anything. Yeah. <laughs> you know, the 30 years have just, you know, disappeared the minute we entered here. So it was just like reliving our uh, days over here. College days. Oh. Yeah, precious memories. Great, great, great. <laughs> yeah. And here we have Shiny. Thank you very much. Yeah, thank you. Shiny and Sudha, yeah. the two S's. <laughs> Hi Sam, how are you? Hi. Great, great. Yeah. So you came all the way from Musket. the Gulf? Musket. I came only for this, took one week holiday for this and want to enjoy with you all and remember these golden days which we had long back. Is it almost like going back to college days? Yeah, yeah, yeah sure. We, we won't forget you also. <laughs> Our beloved senior. Yeah. yeah, proud of you, Sam. Again, what's the best thing you liked about this? Best thing liked about this? Meeting my professors. After a long time. We had a very great chance to show our gratitude mm. to our professors. He was waiting for that and this it made us. Mm -hmm. This day is really... How did the English department uh, change or transform you? Uh, actually, I'm uh, working as a lecturer there right. because of the teachers and because of the atmosphere here and language here. Now I'm working as a teacher there and teaching so many students there. So our, it molded me many ways. Happy to see the old faculty? Oh yes, I mean those days we didn't have Google and you know things to instantly refer. So the amount of reading that they had done and the amount of knowledge that they could give us, we wouldn't have got that much knowledge by going and sitting in the library and referring. So instantly they could refer, they could quote, they could teach us so many things when we didn't have you know this instant Google that students today have. So you really like that uh, thing in the 
uh, line in the poem says, you wonder how much could their brains could handle or their heads could hold. That was it. Yeah. Thank you so much. Well, this group is special because in a sense, they are all my contemporaries. When I was doing my masters, they were in their undergrad. They joined their yeah. first year, I think. We feel very excited to be here. Oh. Same for me also. <laughs> what's, the, what's the highlight of today? Proud, proud to be an MCCN. And uh, we really miss those memorable days and just cherishing the moments. <laughs> <laughs> How much life has changed? A lot, actually. Uh, after coming here, it is like a sweet memories. And then when I'm thinking that after 96, how many things have changed for us. But after getting back to the college again, it is like again, again the college yes. life, you know. Still That's feel, amazing yes. feeling. Still yeah. feel that same vibe when we joined 93, 96, that same vibe we are feeling when we are coming back after so many years. The lonely man in your batch? <laughs> <laughs> It, yeah, you can say I'm a lonely man here. Uh, it's basically because of their uh, friendship I'm here now today. <laughs> uh, yes. Yeah, life here has given me a lot of inputs. Right. Unknowingly given me not a lot of inputs. Now I'm knowingly experiencing it. <laughs> Thank you. What do you guys do? Uh, I'm working with uh, Chennai Port in the finance department. Okay. I'm running my own logistics business, wow. Shakti Globistics in the name. You're an entrepreneur, is it? Yeah, uh, with my business, uh, my husband as a partner. Right, right. Yeah. Okay. I have a branch all over the India. Okay. So, okay. actually the freedom, I've been an outstanding student in this college, same way in the business also, I'm outstanding. <laughs> Lovely. We need some donations. Huh? <laughs> I'm a teacher. Hello. Yeah. I'm working in Zion. <clears throat> I'm a home baker and a lay reader and church. Very good, okay. I'm in the HR department with a concern called May Business Solution. We develop uh, web, uh, webs and uh, websites. Yeah, we facelift the websites for all the companies. Okay. Any jobs for me? <laughs> Definitely, yes, please do. <laughs> thank you all very much. Such a joy meeting you after so many years. Okay, thank you. Bye bye. Uh, with me, Agnes, who actually ragged me when I joined for my, oh my MA in the year 1992. Do you remember that? Yeah, yeah, that's true, that's true. We were doing our final year and Sam joined first year uh, PG. So if you, uh, Sam was from uh, a traditional place. Uh, MCC, uh, normally guys will be very casual and <laughs> Sam was in full formals. <laughs> <laughs> and so we called Sam and we ragged him. Tell me, lots of fond memories coming back yeah. for this uh, reunion? Yeah, that's really, I really wanted to make it. And uh, my uh, paternal grandfather has worked during the British period at Bursa's office as a head clerk mm -hmm. and uh, my all my three sisters did their UG and PG at MCC so we have a lot of bindings towards this college and my best half Samson Cook is from Max department and he's from MCC that's it. Is he the one who used to wait outside when you were busy with the NCC parade? <laughs> yeah he was an NCC too no uh, he had represented uh, Tamil Nadu at Pondicherry uh, during the Republic Day Parade and he's the best parade commander too. This union was uh, indeed uh, an exciting experience for us. You know, very rarely we met like that. Oh, this was indeed a gathering which ranged for about uh, uh, 40 or 50 years. See that very rarely we met like that, and at the same time you made it uh, uh, an occasion when you could felicitate some of the teachers, and uh, that was a good uh, uh, point which encouraged us very much. We had well uh, equipped teachers, as they had the example of. Uh, missionaries and great men like Dr. MacPhail and others, uh, the people who joined later, they took the example of uh, the early lecturers and they were very conscientious and uh, they did their best. With me Dr. Mekula, the HOD of English, thank you very much ma'am for your time. How did this start actually? Uh, the alumni were all interested and they had been sharing the fact that uh, they never got a chance 
to come together like this. So we as a department felt that uh, this should happen and uh, the main uh, person who motivated us happened to be our principal. So he Good response? Yes, of course, uh, but then not initially, but uh, slowly it picked up. All uh, former faculty have come? Yes, uh, 10 of them uh, were here and uh, that is also uh, one very important uh, aspect of this particular reunion because they all were fond of uh, meeting them and uh, interacting. Looking ahead, yeah. uh, what is the department now working towards? Okay, so the main idea is uh, trying to uh, instill a kind of uh, genuine uh, human touch which is necessary in today's world. So uh, we as a department, we focus on uh, literature of course, but then uh, literature is life. So life skills and relating skills, the social skills with spiritual vitality is what we really want to share because when it comes to very difficult situations like COVID and other things, uh, they are not able to balance life. So uh, the holistic development through education is what is really uh, important and we are trying to cater to that apart from updating the syllabus and other things. Right. Yeah. And this would mean you're incorporating new areas in terms of specializations or electives? Yeah, we have done a lot. Uh, now we are in the process of uh, revising. Uh, so medical humanities, disability studies, music and literature, and uh, theater and literature. Uh, so there are more uh, unique and uh, interesting fields that we decided to include in the syllabus. Being a journalist, are you incorporating journalism? Journalism is one small aspect. We have an essay paper, right. so not a major one because our self-finance stream has a journal. Right. Yeah, it has a, a course for uh, people who are interested in journalism. With me, Professor David Wesley, I watched the play. You seem to be continuing the tradition of Professor Rajani. Well, it's a, it's a great honor, uh, first of all, to be his student and to have watched him and learned from him. And uh, to be able to not fill his shoes, but to be in the position where he is and continue the work that he did, it's a great honor. And uh, I can see the seeds that he had shown, I mean, sown all over the world, so many generations that he had created. Uh, and now to be able to uh, see that flourishing like this, and we can see most of his students in so many other colleges no, continuing this tradition in some way or the other in the form of theatre or in the form of teaching and his attitude towards life that we all carry forward. I think it's a, uh, it's a great mark of what one teacher can do to a society. To be or not to be, that is the question. This is the respect that be calamity of so long life. For who would bear the whips and scorns of life? The opponent's wrong. The pangs of despised love. The loss delayed, the insolence of office. And the spurns that patient merit of the unworthy takes. What kind of work does the theatre do now? Uh, theatre does uh, different kinds of work here. We, we experiment with different forms in the MCC now, especially in the English department. We have this uh, theatre IRE, uh, which is uh, called the NEST, where we, it's like an amateur group where we try to experiment with different kinds of texts and do collage kind of uh, theatre and uh, uh, mix the traditional proscenium theatre along with the street form and try and do something of that kind. and. Uh, we also start, start brought in a paper called Theatre and Performance, where uh, a part of the work that the, the students have to do is to produce a play. Theatre, from being an extracurricular one, it has started to come into the curriculum now. And I think that's, a <clears throat> that's where I think Rajani's contribution uh, comes into the mainstream. Uh, theater Are you also a tough taskmaster like Rajani? Oh, if, if I could do what, what Rajani sir did, for like 10% of what he did, oh, I should be happy. So uh, imbibed a lot from him in the sense uh, of how to lift the drama of the text. That is what he often spoke about, that every text has some drama in it. And then how you lift off it 
that uh, I was able to learn and then take it forward with the students. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you, thank you, thank you. With me, Professor Arun, lots of hard work for this? Yes, sir, absolutely. Uh, our students, amidst their examination, they came and helped us. Our colleagues from the English department and a lot of alumni came forward and helped us a lot. What will this mean for contemporary faculty, the present faculty like you? Uh, it's truly amazing and inspiring, uh, especially we were able to see a generation of students being grateful to their professors. We are able to see how much a teacher can impact a student's life. Today you, see, you can see a lot of uh, high-profile people here uh, who owe all their life, all their achievements to their teachers. And I'm really deeply inspired uh, to, to do something great like this to my students. And someday they'll reach greater heights because of our efforts. Proud to be a teacher? Absolutely, very proud to be a teacher. <laughs> Especially being uh, a student of the same institution and teaching here, it's a great privilege. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you. For me, this was a walk down memory lane, going back to my campus days in the early 90s, and hope you too liked watching this. At MCC with Edwin, this is Sam Daniel for Campus TV. Some moment.